today I'm going to show you how to make rabbit meatloaf. You will need one and a half pounds of ground rabbit meat, a bunch of green onions. Um, I know bunches can vary. This is about two cups worth if you want to use measuring cups. Um, you will need minced garlic. Um, I usually use the jarred kind because this takes a lot. You can use or you can mince it up if you want to, but uh, this uses a lot. Um, some sharp cheddar cheese, some Parmesan cheese, some Romano cheese, and three eggs. Um, I'm using one turkey and two duck eggs. Sometimes you need four eggs. It really depends on how well it holds together. Um, I don't use any bread or uh, anything like that, crackers, as a binder in this because this is a low carb one. Um, but you can if you really want to but the cheese and the eggs hold it together well enough you just don't want too much egg or it'll be more of an eggy meatloaf than a meatloaf meatloaf and then you need a uh, bread pan that you have buttered or oiled or cooking sprayed or whatever you do so the first thing you is preheat your oven to 375 degrees and you take a big pumpkin wallop of garlic. This is why I don't do it myself with the cloves and I don't measure. This is one of those pour and dump type recipes. Next you will put in or handful, generous handful of extra sharp cheddar cheese. And then your handful of grated Romano. And your handful of Parmesan. And I like to stir that in a little bit. green onions in really well and you can tell at this point whether or not you have enough egg in here it should be moist and starting to hold together That is not quite moist enough, so we're going to need to add an egg. Okay, so we're adding one more duck egg. Okay, much better. Okay, so you can see that it's a little moister and it's holding together a lot better. And that is what we want. Can you pass me the glass dish? Now, if you have one of these Tupperware cookers, by the way, you can actually microwave this for 10 minutes on high and it'll be done. But we prefer it in the oven. But on a day where you're really in a hurry, it's really nice to have it uh, in, for the microwave. Okay, and you put it into your loaf pan and roughly flatten it out so it is all good. And you can also put um, peppers in here if you want to, or if you're not allergic to them like we are, mushrooms. Okay. Okay. Put this one into the oven for an hour. And we'll come back and show you what it looks like. 
like when it's done. And there you have it, a beautiful rabbit meatloaf.